happy Wednesday. So great to see you all. Um, before I go any further, let me introduce you to my little sister, Amanda. Amanda, hello. say hello to the rest of the family. <laughs> So I'm having serious issues trying to go live and not be at home. My phone data was not supporting this live stream whatsoever. Um, and then uh, we decided I would pull into my mom's driveway to try to get her Wi-Fi. And then I went to try to back up. <laughs> but my mom, lives <laughs> my mom lives on a really busy street. So I had to pull out in front of like two and a half lanes of traffic to back into the driveway, but they were coming fast from every direction. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm never gonna get in the driveway. And then a cop was coming. I'm like, oh my God, I'm out of here. And in the meantime, I had the back doors open and I'm driving all the way around the block. <laughs> oh my gosh. So now we've just pulled straight in. I'm trying to pick up the Wi-Fi from the house. I hope it's okay. Um, it's going to probably fade in and out a little bit. Uh, before I go any farther, I want to thank Dream on Wheels and the No Mock Experience for sharing out this live stream. And Ray with Van Life Rocks, thank you so very much for the raid. Mandy, shall we take a moment and say hello to everyone? How many times have you been on my live stream before? Once? Once. My live stream was her first. This is her second. All right, let's go to the top and see who is here. Well, Amy Morris is here, and you know what? I think we could probably fit one more girl in the front seat, because guess who else is here? Do you want to tell them? Amy is in the house. Amy literally. is literally in the house. So, Amy, you're going to have to come out here and join us yet. Oh, yeah, the trailer. It's a new option on YouTube to play the trailer, but when i looked at it it threw me off i thought it was like it looked like that video was playing instead of my live stream so please give me some feedback on that i don't know if i'm going to do that again dream on wheels is here land cloud adventures good to see you nate good to see you're back in range of service we got shirley here with i'm hitting wrong buttons the following the yellow brick road michael Lan is here Sean is here. Amy is here. The Morris family is here. We've got Diane. Hello, Diane. Box Van D is here. Mo Bang for your bucks. Kenneth Oaks. Renee, hello, hello. Hello, Kevin. Good to see you. Christina is here. Janice from Oz. You guys, I know everybody's been giving me a hard time about the mail, but Janice sent me an email on the 3rd yesterday. She finally got the stickers that I mailed her in Australia. I think it took like over a month. Australia? Yeah. Oh, wow. oh, yeah, over a month to get there, but she did get them. But you want to know something funny? Badge sent one of those big Paula Palooza stickers to Blind Views. Priority Post spent $35 to mail it, and they lost it. Paula Palooza sticker. Oh, know. she's way out of touch. Apparently, this kid's not been following my channel as much as I don't have Facebook <laughs> or anything, and I just finished working long hours. I know, so I know, I know. I that against me. I know. Angie, hey, is here. Hello, Angie. Shebna. Lynn, hello, Lynn. Johnny's journey. Hello, Johnny. Johnny had a really great video, you guys. Well, don't yell at your nurse. You need to go and watch that video. It was really awesome. We have travel adventures with Eric B. Oh, look at that. Fit for expedition. Be like Fonzie and give this a thumbs up. <laughs> Love it. Hello, Sheldon. How are you? Joy Blessed Life is here. Tammy Cox is here. Oh my gosh, there's so many cool people. <gasps> and somebody upgraded their membership. Ray, thank you so much for becoming a Believer member of Van Vita Travels. Shar of Heart. Hello, hello. Kathleen Klein is here. Auntie says, hi, Mandy. I was just wondering. I was looking. I didn't see Aunt Cindy. I was wondering what was going on here. So Amanda and my Aunt Cindy, how far apart do you guys live? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours apart in Ontario. Yeah, she lived far away, so. <laughs> so they get to see each other a lot more often than I get to see either of them. Hildy, hello, hello. 
Oh, Bill and Nancy, thanks so much for listening in. You guys are awesome. So, yes, if you guys were watching Van Life Rocks earlier, he's got a whole bunch of new great stuff. If you missed it, go back and rewatch his live stream. He really gives some solid updates on what's going on in his life. And one of the things he's doing is supporting some people a little more. And I'm so lucky to be one of them. Thank you so much, Ray. I can't wait till he gets his membership started. I want to see what membership stuff he's got. He said he's got something, but he's never seen another channel have for a membership perk. I'm going to find out what that is. What is this? Maybe next time when Paul is in BC. Oh, that's right. I'm going to be going out to BC in a few weeks and staying with Amy and DJ and Caleb. I'm supposed to be staying with this turkey over here. Do you want to explain why I can't? Um. So with my job, it's really sporadic. And we have different jobs that come up. And sometimes it'll be working like 12-hour days. And then with the travel time from work, if I'm working seven days a week and I'm gone for 15 hours a day, I'm just not going to be able to see her. And then when I get home, I have to go pretty much right to bed. Yeah. I actually need, you know, don't even get eight hours sleep by the time I'm all said and done. You would get along really good, though, if you were working a lot. You'd have to be really quiet. Oh. Really quiet or I'd kill you. Yeah, she probably would. She probably would. Mm hmm. Jeffy Bear is here. RV Ash is in April. Hello, hello. Thanks so much for coming in. I'm trying to catch up. Nomadic Sporadic. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. Julie's here. Not our Julie, but another Julie. Look, two Julies in a row, and neither of them are our mom. <laughs> Does mom even have like a. Mom doesn't have a YouTube, YouTube account. account. No. In fact, on her iPad, she's got a special button to go hit. That goes directly to my channel. So did she you set that up. I did. Okay. <laughs> my mom is super well, smart. She was she watching just... Ray's. Yeah. She was just watching uh, Ray's YouTube. So like she... the one he was. Just I think doing. Amy showed her. Oh, Amy, okay. I think Amy set that up for mom. Because mom was like, stay in the house and watch so I can watch Ray. And I'm like, I got my own stuff to do right now. <laughs> Sorry, mom. Love you, mom. Mom was so excited that Amanda was coming yesterday. I let them have the day to themselves, and now I'm intruding. <laughs> oh, John Chalker, thank you so much for being here and subbing to the channel. No, not really conflicting work schedule. I must have missed something else in oh, there. Oh, from when I get to see Auntie more because she's working now. And then when I'm oh. working, and we have a lot of last minute jobs come up. So I end up having to work the weekend or something stupid. Okay. <sighs> oh, look for mom. How sweet. Oh, look. At I think I've caught up, Amanda. I have caught up with the chat. Okay, so here's the first question to you guys. I tell you all the time, I'm the oldest of four, Mandy and DJ are a lot younger than I am. I want you guys to guess how old I was when she was born. Do and if you say you 30, I'm going to smack you. Do what? they know how old you are now? Yeah, they all know how. I tell them That's I'm going to age me. Oh my goodness, you are so much younger than me. It doesn't even matter. I haven't even done any Botox lately. I got the wrinkles <laughs> coming out. We have to do those. We yeah, have the, the family like jowl oh, is starting to kick in. Girl, they got thread lifts for that now. Thread lifts? Yeah, What's a thread thread lift? you can get it done over your lens break. When I get one done, I'll let you know. They just like put a little thread down and suck her up. They put us like sewing stitches in your it's face. Not, no, it's like a thread, like an actual thread. They put down, and then it's got little hooks on it. So <gasps> when they pull it up, it pulls up and stays in there. Well, how do they know where it's gonna catch? The doctors, they'll be fine. Oh, and they it, gotta push like, through all your skin. Yeah, they just like shove it down there. Obviously, it wouldn't be too deep. And, and where do they hook up? it? To the opposite ear or no, the back of your head? Anywhere. When the thread pulls up, it has like little hooks on it. So you just pull up and then they cut the thing and you can't. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'm going to try it after I get my Botox. Oh. When I'm like, when I'm 40, I'm going to look like I'm 15. Awesome. You want to look like you're 15? Yes. Okay, look, Kevin is totally trying to get in on my good side. He guessed I was one when you were born. Oh. Mom, mom, mom. <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I gotta back up and see what Wait the other answers are. I just saw my brothers. He put 40. 
Where is my bird, DJ? Wait, I got to do a couple changes. Mandy, you don't watch my live streams. Let me show you how I give my brother the finger on here. There, DJ. DJ, I was not 40 when she was born, you butthead. Sheesh. Okay, let's go back to comments. Let's go back to comments. Oh, I don't have my banner running. See this little banner on the bottom? Those are my Believer members. That's the second tier members. And I'm going to have to add Van Life Rocks to that now. I didn't know there's different like memberships for you too. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I got to backtrack and see. It depends how many tiers you set up. I just set up two. Badge is here. Bree is here. Okay, backing up, backing up, backing up. So let's see what... I saw 16. 16, 16, 12, Amy, Amy, you're in the house. You are right in the house. We can bring this to you. Oh, that little, and she's a little girl. You think yeah. we can't like sit on her and squish her like a bug? Yeah. Come on. Tiny human. Tiny, tiny human. The one that needs a step ladder to wash her hands. Actually, yeah. Her <laughs> son, Sarah, one. He's five. 15, 12, 18. You're starting to push it there, Tim. <laughs> Just wait, let me back up. I hate it when my chat jumps. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Catching up. Badge is saying hello to Amanda. Ronald, thank you for being here. Oh, wait, there we are. Um, hello, Virgil. Virgil says eight. That's a much better guess. That's acceptable. Oh, Ten is even acceptable. Hello, Stefan Dan. So good to see you here. They are trying to guess how old was I when this sister of mine was born. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to wait. I should have waited. Oh, I already see the right answer. I was going to say, should I keep going till I see the right answer? Let me see. We got 14. Yes. I, was I 13 or 14? 14. 14. I was, it was the end of grade eight when this girl came to be and I saw her just moments after she was born and she was just so perfect. I don't know what happened to you. She was so Life. cute and she loved me so much. Wow. Times have changed. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it has. It has. So yes, I was 14 and I was 15, almost 16 when DJ was born. I'm going to catch up. I saw that I got some super chats. I just can't find them in the stream. Amy got ID'd. They thought she was 11. I can see it. She does. I'd guess 12. I would guess 12. She Oh my goodness. I, you guys, I have this bouncing all over the place. I was getting a little thrown off by things like my brother saying 40. Hello, Robin Jan Can Dan. 15 forever. Thank you, Karen. I'm missing all sorts of stuff. Mike B is here. Greg said seven. That was a good guess. Diane, pretty similar. Pretty similar. It was 12 years between the two sets of us kids. We all have the same mom and dad, but. They just took a break. Oh, what's this? Thank you, Ray. Cut the line when you see DJ. What? <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. Don't I don't know. Cut the I line, but we will play a thank you for that. Where are my thank yous? Oh, don't let them guess maybe how old I was when DJ was born because that really starts making me look older. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Okay, let me see where my videos are. Thank you so much, Ray. Did I just cut that out again? Let's try this. All right, we're still getting tons of glitches. Thank you so much, Ray. Also, you guys, tomorrow night, Thin Blue Lane RV Life has got their monetization party, and it is a family-friendly show. Well, it's going to start that way. We'll see what we can cause. <laughs> oh, let me catch up. Fairy Dust, hello, Brene. Good to see you. The zip line, right? Uh oh. Oh, yeah. Cut the line when DJ comes down that zip line. Yeah, that's hilarious. That's what you and mom got him for his birthday. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I'm going to watch all my clothing here. Yes, his birthday is early September. Make it a bit of an adventure birthday. Holy crap, it's hot in here. It is. I've been thinking that the whole time. Trump. This is outrageous. Thank you so much. Every time you say badges here, I always sit. I always think you say badges, y'all. <laughs> You're such a brat. That's okay. I literally was voice to texting that I was going to Regina. Oh. Voice, voice to text, text got it wrong. I am really glad I reread that before I hit send. <laughs> I'm going to play it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Chrome. Uh, I'm trying to catch up. Janice isn't commenting. She doesn't want to incriminate herself. Well, I'll settle for a dry Saturday. <laughs> Tim, thank you so much. Let me play a thank you for you as well. I'm trying to catch up what's going on. What did I miss? Oh, that's DJ, gonna... what the hell? She doesn't look 12. I guess you wouldn't want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> DJ, you don't want us to say your, your uh, old lady It looks like she's 12? <laughs> oh, I don't know what's going to cost Ray another 20. What is Badge up to? Oh, Badge, I have another four pack of Raspberry Coke for you. I found some more. Amy, we're literally trying to get you to come out here. She's calling us on? Does she even know what family she's walking into? She actually does, <laughs> I which know. is the scary part. She, actually, she's just as bad as we are, so it all works fantastic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Let me see. Do you see, Mandy, how this all works? I have to keep scrolling, scrolling. Okay. Yeah, and then sometimes it wants to hop. Diane says Kevin's just kissing butt. That's okay. I like when people guess that I'm like way younger than I am. That would put me at 13 years younger, which would have made me 33. 33 actually wasn't that long ago. That's kind of sad when I go, oh, 13 years off. Honestly, I don't even like, I actually genuinely forget how old I am because it I just don't care. Like, yeah. I don't feel like more mature or anything. <laughs> I don't. I still think I'm like 16. Same stupid ass sometimes. I feel like I'm starting to go, my numbers are counting backwards now. Right? Like, I mean, you've known me forever. You know how I, I justify things over and over. Like, if I want to do something yeah, for myself. That's a trait you passed on yeah i'm really bad she calls me on it all the time you don't need to justify spending money on yourself you don't need to justify doing something to make yourself feel good and so i'm really trying to do that and i'm pushing past fear and now i'm skydiving and i can't believe you i still don't say the one thing the one thing hang on everybody we got secrets dive. it's coming out skydive i wasn't gonna say anything okay she wouldn't even let me whisper she just doesn't want you to get that close to her ear that's right <laughs> So we're actually going to hit the road in the ambulance here and mom and I don't know, take her on an adventure, yep. fly by the seat of her pants, fly by the seat of her pants, adventures in Xanadu, hi Paula, and from earlier, do not need Botox or plastic surgery, stop it, we can fix all that with WD-40, duct tape, I love duct tape, <gasps> In my library, okay, I have a red green book you guys I got from Badge and what? L. I do. <laughs> I didn't know they have a book. Yes, it's that in, shows the best. You know, I showed you that one red whole cupboard is my cover. yeah is, is my library that I have in here, and yeah, I have that book in there. They gave it to me. Oh, I didn't look at the actual books. So I just saw a bunch of books. So well, I'm all about the duct tape. I am. <gasps> oh, and the yeah. only double-sided tape that is worth buying is Alien tape. It is the best double-sided sticky tape everywhere. This is how yeah, I, I fix shit. <laughs> oh, Peggy. 
You were voice texting your preacher and your words came out as, na as a nasty word. Thank goodness you reread it. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. There's lots of times I'll, because I voice the text all the time. And I'm constantly sending stuff and then rereading and after and going, oh, let me try that again. That made no sense whatsoever. Oh, my goodness. Uh, everyone's saying goodbye. Good night, handsome. Who's leaving? Oh, Kevin's leaving. Hello, Matilda. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, guys, so this is the scoop. I want you guys to hit my sister with questions. Now that I her have her here, it's not part of the deal. Ask my sister a question. Anything you want. Whoa. She will decide if she answers or not. Karen found some more of the raspberry coke. Awesome. Karen's from Regina as well. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yes. And Fit for Expedition, I was just on his very first live stream. Absolutely honored that he had me on there for his very first one. That was fantastic. Aloha, Conk. Hello, hello. Okay. Is sister meeting up as well when you come down? Come down where? Which place? Yeah. Which of my trips? Um, so she is in the States. Um, so there's a couple different things on the go. I am not doing any meetups when I'm in British Columbia because I don't have the ambulance with me. I'm flying on that really, really cheap airfare. And when I go to Ontario, here's the thing. I got to talk to Auntie, you guys. There's a lot of people in Ontario that are all like an hour and a half, two hours apart. And it's really hard to plan a meetup when I don't have a vehicle and I'm basically surviving off the kindness of others when I'm there. So I, I don't know if that's something that I can plan when maybe I know exactly where I am and Auntie and I figure out a time I can let you guys know if you would like to come. But as far as me having the ability to travel much without a vehicle, I don't know if that's going to be much of an option. But come this winter, I want to try like I did last year. I tried. I went and booked three months off, and I wanted to go south and miss one Canadian winter. So I want to try that again this year. If I can do it, are you coming? It all depends on your work. Yeah, if I'm not working or mm -hmm. on unemployment, absolutely. If I can get into the States, I don't because I'm not going to get vaccinated. I may have uh, gotten into a little bit of trouble when I was younger. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm in trouble for that. So let me through. <laughs> <laughs> find out this is the dumbass. We go make a trip to the States. We go to Lake Minot. Her and my mom and I, and she's like, she gets her first passport. And she's like, I want a stamp. I want a stamp in my passport. So she asks when we're crossing into the States. No, we're going on First, the way back. That's what we did. We started in the States. They look at her like she's nuts. And she, they kind of smirk and they're like, just get one on your way back. So this Canadian resident going into Canada. <laughs> no, I have a she yes. She has borders if she can get a stamp. Well, her and I and mom get her asses hauled inside. <laughs> And they're running all these security checks on her. And we're all sitting there not knowing what's going on. We have to get out of our vehicle, go in the back. That could have been for anything, first of all. Your oh. shady asses in the car could have had them ass. But then it caused me issues, too, because I have a U.S. stamp in my uh, passport. But whatever, for whatever reason, it looks like they, like, really checked me out. Like, I did something bad when I was in the States. <laughs> so now when I go, because they're like, yeah, you don't normally have a stamp crossing that way. It looks like you're like checked out by like damn near the FBI or something <laughs> stupid. So now that I'm always looked at like all sketchy like. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, it is just I so wanted funny. a stamp. I just got a passport. Why don't you just stamp the damn thing? Like, come on. Right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Peggy Southern, so her words are really bad. Oh, voice to texting must be fun. Andy, I will give you a call one of these days quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, did you see how I just rolled that all the way through? Oh, Andy says we have 
three and two bikes. I think we can arrange something. Oh, I get the vehicles too, Auntie. <gasps> Do I need a special license to ride the spider? You can't ride the spider. Why? You need to have a motorcycle license. How quick can I get learners? Oh, but I'm definitely not within a range from home if I'm in yeah, Ontario. No. <laughs> Damn. Oh, anytime, Greg, anytime. Actually, there's another live stream that Greg has in the works. It's going to be a really good one. I'm not letting the secret out. You're going to have to follow his channel and find out for yourself. Okay, we are getting some questions. Let me back up here. I saw something who has more tattoos. Oh, wait, Amy says, first of all, who's your favorite sister-in-law? It's really tough. To mm. Who is our favorite sister in law? We only have one brother. I'm going to have to say, I just can't choose a favorite. <laughs> it's a really tough decision. We only have one. <laughs> oh. Would you live in an ambulance? I would live in an ambulance. Maybe not like an ambulance exactly. But I've seen a lot of really cool vans and different people that do them and live in them. And I would definitely do something like that. I don't have any kids. I don't have anything that ties me down. I don't have a house. Uh, my job, I can work anywhere in Canada. Um, so I have a lot of freedom that way. And I think it'd be really cool because I don't really like being tied down or feeling like I'm stuck somewhere. So having that freedom to just get up and go would be amazing. I think it would just be a matter of fine. Like I live in an apartment now, so I would need somewhere to like work on it and figure it out or buy one that's already all ready to go. Mm -hmm. And it's not, I haven't really seen that many out there. I haven't really looked that hard, but yeah. it's definitely something I would do. Build your own build your own that's one thing that's been great my whole family's been super supportive of this because i think all of us kind of think it'd be fun to yeah. travel in it right yeah you're like the guinea pig and mandy would do really good with on because she has this real fear of commitment <laughs> <laughs> she called me to consult on whether she should buy a new bed or not <laughs> she had a hard time committing to a new mattress well, you're going to sleep in it every night. I don't know what I should get. I don't know what to do. It's a, that's a, you know, you don't have just three mattresses to pick from. <laughs> okay. Mandy, when, when, Mandy, when are you going to move to BC? Our brother wants to know. If there was a big job that came up in BC that was for like more than a month, I would definitely go out there and work for an extended period of time. But I don't know about moving. Karen wants to know who has more tattoos. Well, I only have one. How have many do you have? Tattoos. I only have three. You have this. What does that yours say? Uh, it says live a little and then some birds. <laughs> live a little. What yeah, does your arm say? And then in your arm? Uh, it says true love will stand the test of time. I like that I one. And then I have redemption on my foot in Arabic. Redemption. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we got some more questions. Um, oh crap, I did it. Oh, wait. Oh, Angie, damn you, Angie. What is Paula's biggest flaw? How are you gonna pick one? Yeah, that's tough. Just one. Um, oh, the justifying thing really drives me nuts <laughs> to me because I'm like, just do it. Who cares? Like, you know, it's not like I care over it or. You know, like most of the time, just do it. Who cares? And that's the worst thing you can think about me? I can think of way worse, but we've got to keep it PG. <laughs> She's a bad She's influence. Like... She's a bad influence. I am not. You are too. We have, you got dimples from me. That's about it. As if you did not get the dimples from me. Hello, Timmy Ray. Thank you so much for being here. Couch surfing or mooch docking? I don't know what mooch docking is. Mooch would be like staying in someone's yard. Like for me, I would much rather mooch dock than couch surf. I would actually be, stay in my own. You would like actually there was a site for that, didn't yeah, you? Okay, explain that. I actually met some really cool people. That was so before Airbnbs, right? I have no idea. I think there was Airbnb. No, there's Airbnb then. Okay. Or I don't know if it was there before. I don't know. But um so I was going traveling and I wanted to like meet local people and like learn about things that aren't like super touristy. So I joined the site couch surfing and I ended up meeting some of the most amazing people. And I had some of the best times. Like I met up with somebody from Texas 
And then he was going to Vendelanda to see Hadrian's Wall in uh, England. I was in Scotland. We had a really fun night. And then I just like woke up, got a train ticket, and then next we were like dodging sheep in a field to go see these <laughs> Roman roads. We were lost with this little hand drawn map. And he's like, it's not to scale. It was amazing. It was so much fun. I met some really, really cool people. You are definitely the bravest one out of all of us. Like, she literally went to Europe all by herself, just flying by the seat of your pants. Yeah. And, and so I found that really inspirational. I really did. Uh, which one of you is mom's favorite? Neither. You're a close second, but what? DJ? Oh, growing up, everything was about DJ. DJ, 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 DJ. DJ doesn't like that cereal. DJ won't eat that. I don't know, though, but the youngest two, I think, were definitely mom's favorites. For sure. And you know what? Amanda, oh, yes. Amanda is the one. And I mean, don't get me wrong. You all know I love my mom and you see me just spend time with mom. But Mandy is the one that will probably take care of her when she gets old. <laughs> really? Like, you would probably fight me over it is the thing. It's not even saying that I wouldn't. But mom bugs me all the time about my shitty memory. So probably I'll already be institutionalized with dementia. Oh. Mom will be fine and she'll be traveling with Amanda. You guys might as well take the ambulance then. Might as well. <laughs> yeah, you might as well just sign it over now so there's no headache later, you know? Oh, Man, my like gosh. Where is my USB-powered fan? It is propping oh, this laptop. Yeah. My oh. hot flash fan. I know. The other oh, one's in the back. I'm literally, my mustache is sweating. It's so hot. <laughs> I don't know what, like, Ray was showing, oh, it's like 90-something in there, and he doesn't look like he's sweating at all. And we're like, holy I crap. I don't know what it is here, but it is hot. And it's stagnant. There's, we have the windows down, and there's no airflow. Riddle me that. Look, DJ even admitted it. Unfortunately for them, I was always the favorite. Yeah. You little, I want to say the F word. At uh, least you know. She's all like, no, I wasn't. You could have been, oh, no, no. You're no. just imagining that mom loves you girls, too. Yeah. Sure, but yeah, no, seriously, DJ. Trying to stir the pot. No, it's all good. It is what it is. <laughs> Oh, Auntie says I can get a Leonard's is good for 90 days. If you have an Ontario license. Oh. You have to have an Ontario license. Like you don't so and yeah, I don't look young enough to use your ID, do I? Wow. I'll have to get that right. stitching you were there talking about. There you go! Yeah, but like pass yeah. the test so then I can just have my license. Actually, my face doesn't move as much as I would like. No, I gotta go with this. Well, I don't, what do you mean? I don't want my face to move at all. <laughs> Guess. Like, Load me up. I don't uh, care. Oh, you should see the stuff I cut out of my skydiving video. It shows a little bit of the skin flapping. <laughs> <laughs> it was like terrifying. Oh, yeah. It was so bad. Oh. <laughs> I only showed them a sneak peek of it. No, we're not going to kick DJ's but now nah, i was weird too. i was a horrible damn when i was a kid i still have guilt and remorse over that <laughs> hi tim page hello hello from alberta good to see you here mattresses are expensive yeah and it is a longer commitment than Thank <laughs> it can you. be a longer commitment than a marriage <laughs> exactly <laughs> i've had that bet longer than i've had a relationship thank you very much who's the crazier one like Mentally, emotionally, or fun? <laughs> fun, everything else. I'm not saying I'm not crazy <laughs> in that way. But if there's a level, I think we're pretty close. Yeah. Pretty evenly matched. We've got our own skill set when it comes to mental instability. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, no, this is not making me look good. Oh, you guys all Just know me better than that, anyways. Fine. Who's smarter? Paul is definitely smarter. Oh, definitely smarter. I just went farther in school in a different direction, but mechanically minded stuff. Her and DJ are amazing. The ways that my brain doesn't work is the ways that theirs does. So all of us kind of fit together really well to work on stuff, right? Like she's an iron the worker. Or the... Yes, you do. Oh. Hello, Linda, Lady Redskins. Good to see you here. 
what does this say? DJ, after seeing the sisters together, I understand. If you need a shoulder to lean on or a mental health break, totally get it. I do too. Yeah. There. <laughs> He deserves it. Actually, you know what? Poor DJ was the youngest of four. So that says it all. That And he's the only boy. <laughs> mm. Yeah, poor kid. We'll never be able to make it up to him. No. No, but we love him. Yeah, mooch docking is just parking in the driveway. So you talked about the couch serving. I much rather mooch dock. Yeah. Like... But I feel like if you're couch surfing, well, I don't know. Like, yeah, it's a lot more intimate and invasive. And you could be like, ooh. But I really liked getting to know the people and hanging out with them and hearing their stories. Thank you, Jeff. Dry heat. Yes. Hot, hot, hot. Amy Kephart says her younger brother was and still is the favorite i find that hard to believe i feel like amy would have been the favorite okay so linda says i have one sister and she was mom's favorite and i was dad's favorite definitely due to personalities and dad and i were the risk takers that's awesome at least you guys kind of split it up a bit right mm -hmm. i don't know if i'd want to be mom's favorite oh yeah yeah because she calls you guys all the time Right? You don't want your own mother to come. No, out. I mean I love mom. I spend a lot. They, they, you guys know I spend a lot of time with my mom. Because but she treats me more like an adult, I think, than she does you guys sometimes. Like she worries about you, like you're younger. Yeah, she right? probably should. She knows how to see kid. <laughs> see, crazier, you grown it. crazier. I knew I'd get it out of her. I knew I'd get it out of her. What does Auntie say? You can get a learner some sex and probably still drive there. <laughs> that would definitely be a bucket list. Well, you actually can't, though, because you can't leave 100 kilometers of your home with the learners. Do you read Amy's comment? Amanda, tell them your <laughs> business on Meals Idea. Okay. Amy was I'm a big instigator in this, and this was not my idea. Go ahead. I tell them what kind of shit you came up with. I can't. I gotta keep that on the down low for the business side, you know? <laughs> like, I can't have certain people knowing. <laughs> and then, like, I have to camouflage the prostitution business. Right? <laughs> the mobile prostitution. Basically, it was a brothel on wheels, was her brainchild. Right? See? Like, men, married men are still gonna do it. Might as well have them pay top dollar. There's Caleb, And baby. bring it to. Ooh. So Nephew's listening. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, she's like, yeah, brothel on wheels. Yeah. It's not legal here, I don't think. No, who cares? Yeah, that's not my plan. But if I, I could rent happen. it out, no, I, I would not want it no, back. Want it. Oh, John, no. I wouldn't Ugh. go back in the back of the back. I'd hire somebody to clean it. Uh, just make my 60%. Anyways, this is my sister's brainchild idea. Now mm -hmm. you wonder why I have to worry about justifying everything and she's totally the fly by the seat of her pants. It's going to take off. And it's going to do really well. <sighs> what the hell is this? DJ, put a one in the chat if you think Paula should go bungee jumping with me. He will not quit it. He puts a one, a one. Would you go parasailing or skydiving? I both. Wanna do, yeah. Yeah, I want to do both. I really want to parasail. Yeah, I'm going to do that in like Mexico or something and make mom come with me. I would really love it if you went parasailing somebody else, somewhere else with, uh, with mom. Oh. You know, like I just don't know how. Safer? It. Yeah. And skydiving, I just did. You haven't skydived yet, hey? No, I'd probably piss myself. Like for sure, I would piss my pants. There'd I didn't. Be, it wouldn't matter if I peed before. <laughs> That nervous or didn't thing. drink anything for three days before. I would do that. Well. Oh wait, what are all these ones? Amy, Ray, John, Auntie, Renee. Oh, I accidentally hit the wrong button. Renee, let me keep up here. Tim, okay, the number one and Uno is the same thing. You don't get to slip two votes in there for that, right? <laughs> oh, this is a good one. Which one of you has broken the most laws? No, oh, definitely me. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Neither of us are total angels. No, but I was worse at a younger age. You yeah. were bad, but you're already in your. 20s. I wasn't 
bad. I was just you a typical early young 20 year old. I know I can go into the States. <laughs> so I make a phone call. <laughs> how long, how, do, how much does it cost to get a pardon? I you don't see know. ads for that. I, I think that I probably could get in. It would just be something that I would want to drive there and find out first instead of like trying to fly or something. I'm probably just being paranoid, but I don't know. Yes, I would definitely parasail before I bungee jumped. I don't know, but something about bungee jumping scares me more than skydiving did. And I did skydiving, so it's like, why am I so hung up on bungee jumping? I feel like, you ever see those, like, redneck things where it's, like, rednecks try bungee jumping and, like, the rope's too long and they tie it around, their foot pops off right? or something? They don't count, they don't account <laughs> for the extra weight I put on this winter, like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hello, Anne. Good to see you here. Really creative travel. Thank you so much for coming with you. Okay, now everybody's identifying with DJ. She's the only sibling. Okay, he's the favorite. Why is he getting all the damn sympathy? Probably because he's the only boy. I'm the baby. We need to start a GoFundMe for DJ's future mental health care. Who most definitely need. What the hell? Yeah. We are not that bad. We probably were. There's years of damage he's gonna undo. Mm -mm. I left home when he was before he turned one, and that probably caused a lot of uh, subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> For goodness, it was abandonment you started, issues. It. You started it. I mean, abandonment yeah. issues. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, any more questions? Let me see. Oh, and she's feeling sorry for him too. He did just fine. Actually, all he had to do was worry about surviving her. This yeah, kid cool. got him in trouble all the time. One time. The One only time, time I was really tough on DJ, it wasn't his fault. I was coloring our bedroom floor. <laughs> and walls. And, and I, door. I don't remember the door or the walls. I just remember the floor. And I had one little spot left in the closet. And DJ came in. He's like, oh, you're going to be so I was like, no, it's fine. You should try. He did. And then I left. And then Paula walked in. I walked in. And here's him with the thing in his hand. And all the walls, the floor. I'm like, oh, my God. I'm babysitting. Mom's going to come home. And I'm going to get in shit. I put a little apron on the bugger. I got him a pail and a scrub brush. He never ratted Amanda out. No, and I honestly, I was 18 years old and I actually cried. Like I cried because I felt so bad, but I was so scared to tell mom that it was me. I think it was just last year she finally admitted yeah. the truth. DJ was telling the story and I was like, oh, but who knows? Maybe I really didn't do it and I just... Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I need the help, folks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Work only covers it up to a certain point. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. It is always fun doing stuff with my sister. I can't wait till we hit the road and we yeah. we're gonna get our floaties out. Yes, and I take my floaties very seriously. I always have them in my car at home. Always have a bathing suit and a towel in my car. Like six different floaties. Yeah, floaties are a very important part mm -hmm, of our life. Mm -hmm. You gotta have the chair floaties, the lounge floaties. Oh wait, there were some questions. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta back up. I missed a whole bunch. Or not a whole bunch. Um, Paula, maybe your mom treats you like an adult and the others like a little kids because she doesn't see them as grown-ups. Yeah. You guys are so youthful. You know why my mom doesn't treat me like I'm a kid? Cause she treat, keeps passing herself off as my sister. I Maybe. just figured it out now. Maybe. She can't admit that I'm her daughter if she's trying to have, like, she agrees with everyone that guesses that she's my sister, and it pisses me right off. Do you know what it feels yeah, like? Yeah, but if somebody no. tried to say that you were Brayden's sister, you'd be like, yeah. I'd be like, you are so full of shit. I'm surprised you can even see. Nah, yeah, right. That's what you say now. You'd be like, Ooh. People repeatedly think the DJ is mine. Even when I was living in Weyburn still, both adults, he was in his 20s. We were in Walmart. I, did, Brayden must have been at wrestling or something. And a woman from work asked if that was my son. Maybe you should I talk, still want to cry. Maybe you should talk about your brother and sister at work more and they wouldn't think that's your kid. It's because I look so old. 
No, maybe if you talked about your family, they'd be like, oh, hey, that's that grab bar would have come in handy for the business with the brothel on wheels. It went up, yeah. but it's I, it's in the garage right now. I didn't put it back on the roof because I didn't want to mess up my ceiling tiles. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things that are going to have to be put in and taken out of this ambulance for this to work. So, well, not this ambulance, I'm in the one. Amanda, you can do indoor skydives. Oh, I want to do that. I really want to do that. I need to find, I'm sure they do them somewhere in Ontario all the time. I really got to do that. I forgot all about that. Don't you love how Karen worded this? She's giving me a compliment at the same time as asking what a question. Point do you start to believe? Could it be as amazing as it is? Uh, I think like right from the minute, because I know you, I knew that you'd keep doing shit. You know what I mean? I knew you weren't just gonna buy the ambulance and go. Like I knew you were gonna do all sorts of ridiculous shit to it. Uh -huh. Um, so like as soon as you actually, I couldn't believe that you actually bought it. Actually, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, anyway. Mike's actually seen some brothels <laughs> on wheels. And how are they doing? What's their business dynamic? You know, like, are they doing well? Do they look do, How do they not? advertise? Yes. Yeah. I got questions. Do they hand out flyers like in the, in Las Vegas? You know, they hand out those stupid little. Yeah. You have to look into this one. I'll have to think of some ideas. Oh, oh my goodness. A couple different routes. Would you skydive again? Yes. Yes, I would. But I want to try some other things too. I want. I just. I just. It's like really. What? Well, actually, getting the tattoo is one of something that I really yeah, didn't think didn't was like tell me. You were gonna get one. You just sent me a picture of it. I'm like, oh, but okay. did you ever suspect that I really would? I yeah. thought eventually you would. Yeah, like eventually. That's I, not what I thought you would have got though, for sure. I like, didn't know what I was gonna get. It, yeah, you're all worried about somebody seeing it and that work. I have a watch you got me one year for my birthday. That's a nice thick band that would cover it if I wanted. But yeah, I don't know. I just going through something. Okay. <laughs> Good, it's about time. <laughs> right? Live a little. Right? I know my skydive is like. So what? Why are you doing this? And I'm like, midlife crisis, and it's about time I had one because <laughs> this is I'm actually living now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. I need to start living my life too. Oh, thank you so much, Victoria, for the raid. Hello, Fatima. Let me see. See if you got so let's scroll down and see if there's any more questions for the Sista. Think about it. Living with four women under the same roof. Yeah. It would have been tough. I had her back. I'm really behind in the chat. I don't know who's back. Oh, oh he had your yeah, back. Yeah, I owe, I owe you big time, brother. It should pay its dividends soon. He's going to yeah, cash yeah, in yeah. on that bond. Don't worry. Someday. Yes, the oldest child does have it the hardest because mom says you do get a little bit easier on every kid. Because you That's... give up. <laughs> I'm just tired of their shit. Like, look at, I tried everything for the oldest, and look how they still turned out. I'm not going to bother with the younger ones. <laughs> oh, what the hell? I turned out pretty damn good, I like to think. So Steve says he had three sisters plus mom that was four under one roof. I got the crap beat out of me all the time. <laughs> no, we just made DJ wear aprons and clean <laughs> Mandy's nest. Whatever. He Actually, had the crayon in his hand. He's not totally innocent in this. <laughs> I will tell you guys, I am so blessed with my siblings, and I just love them so much. And I don't know what I would do if I didn't have them. Who's the better singer? Oh, Paula, for sure. I can't carry a tune in a bucket. I was telling them one time how I literally mouth the words, I lip sync to happy birthday. <laughs> I With us, I don't, but I, I don't sing. If you lip sync to happy birthday to me, I would be so offended. Well, for you, it's different. You're my family. When did you lip sync happy birthday and for who? Well, I have all the time in groups. I'm just, I get embarrassed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In groups, you have, like, not actually singing. Mm, let me just see. Who's the another one who's the best singer? Um, what is this? She was five and you were 17. Yeah, you got that a lot, thinking they were yours. Everybody thought DJ was my child. What is this? Rob says he worked with someone whose wife was one of 23 children and no twins. Yikes, must have sneezed to get the last dozen out. 
That's horrifying. Hey. That is horrifying. Why would you keep doing it? <laughs> like, you know how it's happening. Stop. Just stop. That's horrifying. Diane just crossed her legs when she read that. <laughs> no doubt. Put a red light in the cabin and you got a red light district on wheels. <laughs> I like that. Got a red underglow. Oh, yeah. Amy even has more tattoos. TJ has more tattoos. Only mom doesn't yeah, have more I tattoos can't than me. I believe that uh, Amy got her whole arm done. It I looks know. so good, too. I can't wait till so she gets nice. a color. Hello, Ron. So good to see you here. Mandy, did you ever watch some of DJ's late night live streams, like the chicken wing one? The chicken wings have arrived. Um, I've seen most of his like shorter ones and stuff, but the longer ones with the time change and stuff like that. Okay. And then I've been working lately. I don't have a lot of time. So this is one of the things that I will do you guys with my sister is have her watch that particular live stream. Those of you out there that know what I'm talking about, know what she's in for. She's going to be like, oh, my God, you guys are so embarrassing. I can't believe I even let anybody know that I'm your sister. Why? What did you guys do? <laughs> they were talking about the government suggestions for COVID, safe sex. Oh, <laughs> I think DJ told me something about this before. <laughs> <sighs> What is this? I heard them both singing. And let me tell you, not radio worthy, that's for sure. Amy has never heard me sing. Amy, you, if, I'm not actually that bad of a singer. I'm just really shy. Amy, you are such an ass. I hope we're mistaken and she's referring to someone else. Aw, Ron says, now that's the best looking iron worker I ever saw. No. <laughs> oh, Ron. She is. She's such a cutie patootie. Seriously. DJ was just trying to put the crayons away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, DJ. One day I will make it up to you. I'll give you 20% of my brothel business. <laughs> You'll be rich. I'm telling you. Fatima wants to know who's the most optimistic out of us. I don't know. Hmm. That's tough because we both were negative for a while there. Ups and downs. And when we're both, yeah. We bring each other up, though. Yeah. And it doesn't take much. Like, one of us can be like heartbroken or devastated over something and give the other a call yeah. and just be like, I need it bad. I love you so much. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely feel there are times where I'm more optimistic and then times where you're definitely more optimistic. Did we ever dress up DJ like a baby doll or put makeup on him? I never oh, did. Oh, my fourth grade birthday party. Yeah, he had this pink and like white nightgown on, put makeup on him and his hair. He was <laughs> loving it. He was loving the attention. <laughs> I didn't live at home, you guys. I left home when I was 17. I guess I didn't uh, dress him up like a baby doll, but I'd like drag him around by his foot and I had him in this like crippy old stroller. I don't know. Mandy's always been the more athletic. Yeah. You I'm played basketball in school. I don't know. Not, we never. None of us really got the opportunity to play sports. I mean, I golfed like three times, so pretty much in the LPGA. So <laughs> probably oh. take that one. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. I'm trying to think. I played volleyball in grade twelve. I had moved. I left home and moved back up north to where I had grown up, and I literally just got put on the team so that I could be with the other senior girls in this small town. Like, I had a grad class of 24. Yeah. I don't and know. so they rookied me, and I then I just got to go with them on all the trips. I don't think either of us are really overly athletic. To be yeah. Honest. Like, I did. Like, I was really good in badminton for one year, in like grade 10. It's unbelievable. What is the most embarrassing thing Paul has ever done that you know of? Definitely, if I, I can't, oh. Do you actually know of one? Yeah, but you'd kill me if I said it in public. Oh, then don't. Remember the Tom Hanks, Hanks thing? Tom Hanks? In labor? <laughs> Fucking God. Watch enough. your mouth for a minute. At the blankety blanking. Tom Hanks thing? What the hell is the Tom Hanks thing? I can't. I can't. You honestly kill me. I can't. I'll tell you later. Was like, I trying to be him when I was drunk or something? Oh, no. Okay, no. well, then we were not going to go. Their mom's listening. Okay, yeah. Very much. <laughs> um, most embarrassing thing. <laughs> we have anything that's allowed to be said on this live stream. You're going to have to tell me what it is. I honestly don't remember, but you're kind of freaking me out. See that's you later, Denise. Thanks so much for coming out. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. 
you do like I'm a man now. <laughs> mm. Lillian, awesome. Now you know how to chat in the stream. Fantastic. So good to see you here. Lillian, do you have any questions? Yeah, honestly, they have I some good questions. Anything that you've done that was like super embarrassing. Okay, I have a question. What is something really good, maybe, folks? Maybe it's something really good that I've ever done. I can't think of that either. <laughs> <laughs> Racking my brain. And just you are so my up. sister. <laughs> so, shucks, next one. I, I, unless I, I miss Obviously, some. letting us live with you. Yeah, that's right. Each of you have moved in with me when you're 17. You were horrifying, but overall it wasn't too bad. Hey. I had more rules for you than you did when you were living at home. Get and it was because now, I people. love you and you serious. literally you li you needed it and I feel like you deeply wanted it. And you know that they were there because I love you so much. Oh, you take it so much more serious than I just thought. You know is she single? Honestly, depends on the day. <laughs> no, she's not. Really depends <laughs> on the day, let me tell you that. Uh... Oh, wait. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my nephew Caleb probably could have done a better job. There I was... had to tell him to stop twice. So she could get away from the fence. She I got knew. moved and she got closer to the fence. I know if I would have kept going, I would have hit the fence between moms and the neighbors. There was traffic coming everywhere, including the police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I don't often see police uh, pulling people over for backing up. But I was blocking all the lanes. I'm like, holy might shit. Have done it, Paula. I would have had to pull out more right in front of the cops. The third time, yeah, you would have had to pull out farther and then got farther away. And Second time. To the <laughs> Second time. Whatever. Well, I'll just get them to do like like a plane, you know, when they do I the plane. I tried to too. <laughs> like, she's looking at me through that. I'm like, I don't know what she's doing. Like, they, I the cannot. Traffic. They'll go around. They'll go around. They're not going to go through you. Yeah. I can't see out the windows in the back of this ambulance. So I'm trying to go by the side mirrors. And I'm not even looking at the mirrors because I'm looking at the cars coming at me. Okay, I'm not good at it. We all know that. Oh, my goodness. I can say whatever I want right now because I don't have an ambulance to try and back up. So <laughs> in theory, I could be great. Oh, Janice, thank you. I'm sure your job is very rewarding. There has to be something good in your life. Or that has to be something good in your life. Yeah, I do. I really, I really, really love my job. I do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Two good looking smart asses. <laughs> yes, Ron. Yes, thank you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Is Gina going live tonight? I heard that there was a rumor that she wasn't. Can someone confirm for me? Mm. Okay, Janice, you take care. Hopefully everything's okay with your neighbor. What is third, I believe? Oh, absolutely, you guys. Drop the channel links. Joy Bless Life. That was so thoughtful of you. That's the link to Van Life Rocks. My newest upgraded channel number. Ooh. V, hello, hello. Good to see you here. Yes, everyone should love themselves. Here's a question for you, Amanda. Will you ever start your own YouTube channel? No. Guest appearances. Just guest appearances. Because I, like, I hate the idea of, like, having to do something. You know, like, I can never be, like, every Saturday I'm going to do that. Because every Saturday I'm be like, I just don't feel like doing it. Or mm -hmm. I want to be here. Or I want to be there. And it's hard to believe but i actually don't want that much attention <laughs> you know like it's very hard to believe but it's true but oh my i have gosh. somebody right now i'm trying to talk into starting his own channel for like fishing and stuff but uh because that's what we do a lot of and it's something that we're interested in but i wouldn't want to like i don't know thank you guys for checking okay will i put a rear camera on my ambo i highly suggest that my brother and sister consider that for a possible Christmas or birthday gift. For the safety <laughs> of the ambulance. <laughs> for the safety of others. Somebody send her one. Put it in for her too. I literally set up somebody's dog with my voice, I think. Probably. 
home I am. You should have brought your dog. My dogs are home with Brayden. Brayden's only home for like three weeks, and I'm not going to discuss it anymore because I'll start crying because I just about did on my on my member stream. <laughs> well, you still should have brought the dogs. Mm -hmm. I was looking forward to uh, you know them. what? I still can't keep it cool enough in here during the day. Mm, that's a good point. That's, a that's good the point. thing. I I need like I have a roof vent that doesn't have a fan, and then I have one that I put in as a fan. It works, but it's one speed, and it is the biggest piece of crap. Oh, that one so in the back. back. Like, do you even feel a breeze? You're dripping in sweat, and you put your face right on it, and still not even feel a breeze. Stupid, stupid. That's what I get for being cheap. Should do the research and just save for the better stuff. Yep. Oh, Auntie Cindy run. says she's got a bigger boat. We can catch fish. Auntie, you gonna take me fishing? And Cindy, I can't do boats. They make. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is unless it's a pontoon boat. I get. You got, you got more of those? I told you I'm thirsty and dying here, and you're sipping on an A&W root beer? Unbelievable. Did you tell me? Oh, right underneath your bum is more. She's sitting on a cooler. I have the fridge one in the back. You What's the fridge slash freezer? Believable. Watch the cleavage are. shot, dear. I don't need. Oh, maybe that's a way to get more males to view the channel. Not... We're going to make you money one <laughs> They're not here to see me. I can't me. even get the damn thing open. Okay, tilt that seat forward. Kids, now I see why they get treated like children. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, touche. Oh, oh, there we go. <sighs> there wait, we wait. Go. We're gonna go. Okay, we're good. We're good. And oh, Amy's like it already. It's already a brothel. <laughs> I don't see anybody coming up. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, gross. Gross. Oh, okay, I got to back up. I think I saw another question. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So, okay, I do need a rear camera. Someone said drop it in my Amazon. I should. Google moderators at it again. See, I don't have my YouTube side open. I only am through StreamYard. What's a Google moderator? So that's the whole Google YouTube system. There's a moderator that can come in and randomly pull out people's chats. And I hadn't seen that for months happen to anyone whose chats, whose comments are getting deleted. No, Gina. Yeah, I want to know who they're deleting. Oh, maybe that was a comment to Shanna. Maybe they're knocking out hers. I've had, I said hello once and it deleted one of mine, but that was months ago. Drop it in my Amazon merch. Yeah. Auntie, you can absolutely take me fishing because one of my bucket list things is to fill up the fish from beginning to end all by myself. I've deboned them. I've caught them. I just haven't done that in between part. You get the rainbow or you get Scrape their spine to get the blood out. Gross. They have veins along their spine? It's like coagulated like blood almost or something. It's congealed. It's gross. It's like you just gotta like run your thumb down it and it gets out. It's gross. I don't actually know the, the problem is who's gonna install it correctly. Yeah, I Tam, it. Should be fine. Tam, I have made very few mistakes. The point that I share them with you guys because I think it's hilarious content does Honest not mean God. I screw everything up. The first time I saw you with the grinder, <laughs> the angle grinder, that video, I know. <laughs> Lack of knowledge. She uh, gave me uh, shit. She has her foot up. I know. <laughs> like, that's going to protect. Oh, my. And God. I goggles on. I should have done that at work and seen how fast I've been walked to the gate. I'd be like, you idiot. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Stuff out Auntie, I can totally get a fishing license. It's not a problem at all. Lynn says we are too funny. Oh, you think it's Shanna Cross Flower? Shanna, they're taking Shanna's. Does she know about the bars? I think the big joke was the ambulance had the bar across the roof. It was, a, you know, the big bar. I picture some of Caleb hanging off of it, and I used to hit my head on it. Well, it had to come out. But I think people are thinking that could be used for various yeah, positioning. All sorts of trapeze light systems in here. Real money maker. Nope. You gotta get bars at different heights, different things. Oh, they're gonna take me crabbing. I've never clean. Do you clean a crab or you just cook it? 
Yeah, I don't know because they have only ever seen the crab legs, right? Do you cook the whole thing? Oh, I have no lie. idea. That would be, I want to go crabbing. That'd be so much fun. Now we got I've Ron started. DJ, like, the three inch hole saw thing, that is a part of the Wings Have Arrived live stream of DJs. We, we're going to watch it one night and you're going to laugh your pants off. Yes, it was the COVID safety procedures. The, that was the, the live stream that DJ's like, Nate, Amy, you have to come on here. And then it all went sideways. And after Nate's like, okay, why did we have to be up here for this? But that's not where it was think, supposed to go. Wait, okay, I stole this spot. You can't steal the spot. That oh, I my stole. goodness. When am I coming to Ontario? Hello, Charlie Grace. Oh, you cook and eat it. Renee says, just cook it and eat it. I am going to be in Ontario in September, around the middle of September. Further information will be released as I have confirmation. Wait, so like the crab, <laughs> we're going back to crab cooking. Don't drop the nasty COVID No, because I got questions procedures. now about actual crabs. Like you throw the whole crab. <laughs> well, now crab water. spins in with the whole brothel conversation. <laughs> Talking about the food, DJ said he's gonna take you crabbing. I don't think he's gonna take about a brothel thing when you're down there. Like, just just, out, you know. just go on my mind went somewhere else. Go. Never mind. Oh, Shanna says crabbing is fine. You cook the bugger, and there's part of the crab you can't eat. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Is it like the round part? You know what I mean? Where it's got its beady little eyes and the creepy like body part. Do you just eat those crab legs? Can you keep their antennas for like a toothpick? That's disgusting. That's horrifying. That's the worst <laughs> stupid thing ever. Especially cooked. Uh, oh, you cooked the whole thing, DJ does. Google cooking a crab. All right. I don't want to Google cooking a crab. I want to they say, embarrass him. You just to tell me. Ron's trying to say we embarrassed him. Mm -mm. Ron will be quiet, 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 and then he comes up with the best one liners. Where's Blind Views? I know, right? Probably busy summertime people get busy actually i've missed quite a bit of his stuff lately too between working trying to get stuff back in the ambulance and i've added a couple things i put a couple shelves up in the back mm -hmm. i for now for the shower system not that i'm really going to need it i'm just going to do the whole shower bag so i in the bracing i put a hook that i can hang that to really easy till I can afford the system that I'm going to wait for the proper system for my shower water. Um, hello, artsy dude. Anthony, good to see you here. You can eat part of the body. You can eat part of the body. Part is nasty. Okay, well, we'll skip the nasty part. What is this? It's actually, it's pretty gross to do. I don't eat it after if you take the shell off. Take the meat out of the body, clean out its mustard. What? Huh? Is there like it's pretty gross to do? I don't eat it after. I will take the shell off, take the meat out of the body, clean out its. Uh, Is he voice to texting right now? Is it insights? When he says mustard, it makes me think of newborn brain baby poop. It is disgusting. What? Everyone's testing to see if they can find that flower that Shannon uses. Shannon, now the flower is not just yours. They're yeah. all doing it. They're all I doing don't get it. it. What's the thing with the flower? In her name, she has this particular little flower all the time. So everyone's trying to find. find oh, there she is. That's hers. Oh, yuck. The, oh, the yucky part is called mustard. Oh. Oh. Well, look at us learning something new. Hey, hey, hey. I don't really like, um, like Celtic crab Nomad. Lobster, to be honest. What? I don't, I'm not a big fan of, like, crab and lobster. You're allergic like, to shellfish. Uh, that's debatable. Maybe eating the tiny crayfish out of the grubby river has something and to shrimp. do with it. And shrimp. You can't eat shrimp. No, I can eat shrimp. I can eat shrimp. Huh. It's pretty hit and thought... with the hives. When I ate the crayfish, <laughs> anyways, they're supposed to be a certain size, but, uh, um uh yeah i don't know i definitely got hives really bad from that okay they used to hunt opossums they sold the hides and the older men used their the animals private parts to pick their teeth like a toothpick no way did they die happy <laughs> to use their private parts that, is, that can't be real 
I don't want to know. YouTube set Shanna Craft free. We must not be seeing it on StreamYard because I don't have YouTube running right now. The moderators just popped in and just zeroed in on her. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How could they just, why would they even care? It's a computer, chat it's a computerized thing, so there can be glitches all the time. For some reason, it's picking her. We don't know why. Shanna Craft is one of the, she was like the very first person watching me ever trying to even start a live stream. Oh, yeah. You know that? And Ray was the very first person on my live stream. How'd you find Ray? Well, I don't, well, how? I didn't really find Ray. We were all in the same community kind of the same time. I started my live stream. I'd seen his name in chats, but I didn't ever, I never thought to go look at people's channels at that point in time. And then he comes up on my live stream and I was like, oh, hey. <laughs> oh, that's who found my frogs is. And that's the end of that. Uh, not all of her comments are getting deleted, but a lot of them. Totally out of the loop, or yet now it is. Well, I'm trying to hit the road. Ambulance has had a lot of work done. Starter's been replaced again. Couple upgrades here and there. My biggest concern is just the safety of everything. Everything else is perfectly fine. Don't couldn't ask for any more. Um, my sister's down from Ontario, so we're gonna explore a little bit with mom. Kind of, you know, we could pre-plan it, but I want to kind of fly by the seat of you our pants. originally supposed to pre-plan it. Um, I don't pre-plan anything on the worst, like on lies, say it is. I hope it works out, but. Well, we'll just, uh, we'll, we we'll, have we'll like an fun. idea. We're in the ambulance. We can literally park in a parking lot to sleep yeah. if we needed to. See, that's yeah. the beauty of it, right? So if something's cool, we don't have to like make appointments and pre-book. Yeah. And, yeah. It's nice too because the ambulance isn't like too big, so you could drive it into like I feel like funner, more secluded spots. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now Shanna's just gonna start talking even more. <laughs> oh, Aloha Kong, who has more fun? I feel like. I used to have more fun. Paula had more responsibility because she had a son and she went to university and then had a real grown up job. <laughs> I was just kind of a shithead. But I think now. Well, I had. Toes are just falling all over the place. I had what I thought was fun at the time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And stuff. So I definitely think, like, you have more fun now, though. Now, even my son has said, you know, it's it's so different to see all of a sudden, like now all of a sudden I'm starting to do things and I'm not afraid to do things. And, and so many people in his age range are just starting on a new path and a new journey. And so everything's a little bit anxiety inducing because everything is new. Mm -hmm. But that's part of my whole epic spirit, being courageous enthusiasm to accept the unpredictable in pursuit of utopia. Because you have to accept the good and the bad. The good and the bad is all part of the journey. And that's how we even appreciate the best parts. Mm -hmm. And you just need to be courageous and be willing to embrace it all. And it's not always easy to do. But I actually feel like I'm living here right now. And that feels really, really good. Um, How did you manage to get that upside down? And not make any sense. CDAX files. Oh, yeah. Google, okay. wait, is it Google? And then wait. Anyone? No. How would you try to figure it? Does anyone know what that's supposed to say? That is like a riddle, brain teaser. Am I the only? You're seeing this upside down and all Googled, yeah. right? I, you know, even no matter which way I read it, some of those words don't make sense. So I thought this was Google okay. upside down, yeah. sort of, but still spelt this direction. Yeah. YouTube. Oh, Google YouTube moderator sucks, but still not as fast. This something as holy crap! Read it left to right. I am reading from left to right. But it looks like it's backwards and upside like, yeah. just twisted. How it's was like it? Upside down as well. It's horrifying to look at. No, just type it normally, please. 
I'm moderator. Oh, uh, Renee wants to know what is your sister's job? I admire my sister so much for the work that she does. Tell them what to do, pumpkin. I work in construction. You are an iron worker. You have all your welding tickets. You're like, hey, go girl power. Great. Very proud of you. Because that, that's that's another thing that's got to be risky to start and you know to follow your passion but it's not in it for anybody that's in something that's in a role that hasn't typically been for their gender to be one of the newer ones like i feel oh, like it's groundbreaking that, there's definitely like ladies like the real pioneers of it the ladies that are like retiring right now like what they went through what they had to go like now it's kind of the paved path like it's the paths paved for us Oh, and then good. just like what we do, but they're definitely the ones that put up with a lot of shit. That's mm, for sure. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to. Girl power, Tracy Ocean Fire says. Absolutely. What's moving on? We're, we're, we're needing to move on because I couldn't read. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. <laughs> Yes, my sister definitely is badass, and I am so excited to get to spend some time with her. Absolutely. Oh, Renee wanted to be a welder when she was younger. I think you should do it. You always can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is this? Dear stinking moderator who keeps deleting my comments. Not nice. I've always tried to be kind in every live stream that I've been in. Be kind. Hey, is that Amy walking yeah. out there in her pajamas? Oh, can I dress? No, don't do that. What? Hey, Amy. You should have been nicer. <laughs> if I just took the them. You smart up ass. And... You can totally get to back right now. I told her not to. <laughs> I don't think they heard a word you said. <laughs> um, yes. Steel is a tough job. Lillian is a twin. Yeah, do it. <laughs> what did I miss? I had to run next door elderly elderly neighbor swamped her kitchen. Just Typical candy to travels kind of stuff. I think you're, I don't know what for sure how much you actually missed. I saw you leave, but I can't remember. Hmm. Everybody is all worried about Shanna. Hello, Brian. Thank you so much for coming in. Goodbye, V. It is two hours later for you, and you get up. Oh my goodness, she does her live stream at like four thirty in the morning my time. Where's she from? Ontario. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Why did you do that? that Before time? work. Hello, artsy dudes. This welding's rad. He does like tattoos. Yeah. Hey, I like that hat. I want the hat. It matches your shirt. Now, who's girly? <laughs> yeah, mine. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, he you guys. Tattoos. Where does he do tattoos? Huh? Um, I can't remember exactly where he lives off the top of my head. It's in the U.S. We'll let you in. They won't let us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here's another thing. I mentioned this on my member stream, but I'll just throw it out for you guys. August 9th was, or is the date that Canada is letting fully vaccinated Americans come in to the country and our our border workers have given notice to strike and they're able to strike as of august 6th which i'm not gonna lie i think they need some more um some more money for the things that they do and the stuff that they have to put up through all of this stuff so but anyway so even though the border is going to open we're actually probably going to have less things coming across the border and it's probably going to be deleted or not deleted, um, delay. everything's going to be delayed. I'm reading this. Shanna's been freed? What? What? Wasn't the girl in the movie Flashdance a welder? I hear about this all the time. I think so. She's like a welder and a stripper. A welder and a stripper. 
I'm gonna be a legit business owner, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> well, wish your mom a happy birthday. Our mom just had her birthday on Facebook. I said it was a milestone, milestone birthday because I love my mom so much I wasn't gonna say which one it was. <laughs> no one would believe me anyways. I'll think she's my sister. So yeah, no. You know how it goes. Um where should we go? Where are you guys? Where should we go in this next week? What are some of your recommendations? We have to stay in Canada. I don't want to go farther than eight hours away. The you most. know where I really want to go sometime is up to like um Alaska. Not Alaska, not as far as Alaska, but like the Northwest Territories. Yukon? Like I'd really want to go really, really bad. The Yukon would be like awesome. Pulling me there. Well, we can't get, we can't go to the Yukon or the Northwest Territory straight north in our province. We have to go over to Alberta. Yeah, and but we they can have go the north. Athabasca sand dunes there that I always wanted to see. But I guess to get to like, I think a you really have to good fly ones, in. Yeah, you have to fly or boat in. Oh, look, Tracy, thank you so much. You're so sweet. Let me play you a thank you. <laughs> Yes, Fatima. Fatima's Canadian to the Yukon. Do the Yukon. I think she's Canadian. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Fatima, are you Canadian? Am I mixing it up? Am I mixing it up? I thought she was. Um, there's actually quite a few people that are from Canada here, even though most of the views are from the States. Um, who did I just see walk in? Who just walked in? Trucker Daddy, hello. Thanks so much for being here. Oh, Michigan. Okay, but I think you must have been talking about, you've been to Ontario and maybe that's what I'm mixing up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. She was an interpretive dancer. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. Oh, JW Aloha Conk. Thank you so much. Let me play it. Thank you. <laughs> You, you guys are spoiling me. What is this, Tam? What is that little person doing? So can you guys type out? I can't see on here what that emoji person is doing. I know it's a person, but I can't. I need glass. I have glasses. I can't tell what that is either. Thank you. Let me play a thank you. He is on fire. <laughs> Y'all never say A. Not it's really. I right. Hey. You do too. Okay. Yeah. I always say because we're prairie people. We say, hey, come here. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hey you. Hey. But not A. That's yeah. that's the Atlantic provinces. That's the very east coast that really does that. Definitely. Let me back up. I can't see. Trucker Daddy wants to know when Badge is going to Newfoundland. Yeah, that's where a lot of the A is, I think. And we're, hey, I don't know. It's weird. What the heck? Someone became a member. Mike B, thank you. Hope Bus. See, I can see up there. Now I got to find it in the chat so I can post it for everyone to see. You guys are so awesome. Yeah, see, Fatima has been to Canada many times as family there. That's where I misinterpreted. Sorry, sorry. But Janice, she's from Australia. She's come up on my live stream. She has really room cool. for me if I decide to come visit. That's, that's where, no, actually, I know this sounds so lame. With the whole spider thing. <laughs> Honestly, as beautiful and as amazing as I want to go, I could, I would probably just pass out if it was my dog that big spiders yeah i would die super I creepy super creepy hope bus thank you so much let me play another thank you i gotta go to my older section i tried to change a couple of things on so that here person, uh that is see my sister doesn't know what these all look like from this side that is a super chat or a super sticker and a member says something else because see this they're canadian too because it says ca that's a nice way to know um let me play let me see some of these older ones we'll do this one
Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you, Mike, for becoming a new member. Mike was a member, I think, though. You know, YouTube does that a lot. It cancels people's memberships, and it'll, un well, what it does is it unsubscribes them to a channel, which instantly removes their membership. Crazy. Oh, it looks like her comments are getting to stick now. We just had to outlast it. So, Robin Dan says, A, we say that in uh, Ontario. Huh. We don't. I don't. I, I, do you know? No, you're in Ontario ever, now. Yeah, do you notice I it? I ever hear people say, like, hey, I'll get a lot. The moose milk is on a break, my dear. This kid's tummy can't handle much more of that for a while. Actually, on the weekend, mom What's and I went to this milk? different place. I'll have to explain it all to you later. We had this place I was telling you with the cauliflower bites. Oh, it had yeah, so much hot sauce. My it. stomach is still kind of burning at the top part. Not cool. Not cool. Um, let me catch up. Let me catch up. So, yeah, where should we go? Oh, your cousin's doing nursing in Nunavut. Um, what is this? Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Hardly ever say a hey, hands on hips. She's standing there with her hands on her hips, tapping her foot, saying, I hardly ever say a. Hey. <laughs> Maybe we should try to go to the Yukon. Is their border open right now? Uh, the Yukon, you don't have one. Oh, provincially. Uh, yeah, because they were for a while locked down. But okay, let's Going to Yukon would be fantastic because we'd have a better view of Northern Lights, which I gotta check my app. I think there's some coming up soon. Um, but if it's when it's if we go too far north, it's daylight all the time. We won't get to see them. Oh well, yeah, they guess that part. But like daylight all the time would be amazing. <sighs> no, it's this hot though. Kildy, still sunny. Kildy, I'm not sure what the 23 is for. If you're guessing years apart, you might be behind in the chat. Sometimes if there's glitches, you have to go to the three dots hover on the very top right hand corner of this picture and three dots will appear and you should be able to. Oh, wait, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Never mind. I'm doing the screen yard thing. Someone explain it on the YouTube. You go down to the bottom and you can speed up. Is it Regina or Regina? Regina or Regina? If it's a lady's name, it's Regina. If it's the city, it's Regina. When I try to emphasize Gina, it just sounds like it just said terrible. Terrible. Oh no, Shanna is in jail again. Did they get her? Did they get her? And so now Ray's trying to throw the flowers out there to see if his gets deleted. They're just randomly picking on my girl. So, Maggie's saying hello to you and I. And Maggie, this is Amanda or Mandy. Which do you prefer anymore? Doesn't matter. I call it interchangeably all the um, time. I think I prefer Mandy, but nobody other than my family calls me. So, Janice says you actually have to go looking for the spiders. The huntsmen are about the only ones that are likely to come indoors if it's about to rain Ooh, and they're harmless. Yeah, snakes they're scare me. Gross and they're just creepy. And like even the little spiders at work, like I run from them and they're all over. And I'm like, I will not do that. Like you have to get rid of them before I'm even going anywhere near that. I hate them. I hate them. Mama's laughing at me because she was at my house the other night and I saw there's a snake on TV and I started squealing and I'm not a squealer, but I squealed. I'm covering my own eyes sitting on my couch. She's like, That's really? Yeah, that you sound exactly like mom. No. <laughs> but you were just talking about spiders. Yeah, but if I That's see one okay. on TV, if I see one in real life, I'm going to be gone. I don't like spiders or snakes at all. Yeah. My snakes are so bad they eat your spiders. Take that. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, evening shade. Good to see you, Lori. Laura Lynn. Uh, um, they're getting some decent weather. Good luck getting on the ferry. Just trying to catch up here. Oh, Mike upgraded. So you were a member. I didn't delete it. You upgraded. Well, thank you for the extra support, Mike. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. And Maggie, I miss your giggles, girl. I miss them. 
Let me just see. Oh, for goodness sakes, Ray's giggling now? For what? I don't know. I think he's just copying Maggie and Shanna. He's trying to be one of the cool kids. That's what he's trying to do. Don't follow the crowd, Ray. Yeah, don't be a follower, Ray. <laughs> Leave the back. No, there might have been something I missed. That would that would never happen, right? I couldn't possibly have missed anything. Or maybe he just loves her giggles, too. Oh, if you're going for the Auroras, you are going to sneak your... Oh, my battery is running low. You're going to sneak across the border and come to Nate. That would be fantastic. Him and his girlfriend, Amy, were on... Which lake was that? It was like Mira, Ontario. And if you go so far, you actually cross the international border and they accidentally did and went back again. Oh, like to uh, Michigan on Lake Huron? I, something like that. I, I've never, I don't know all of those places. You guys we only have about five minutes because my computer is gonna crap out. It has been in the 90s like all summer. It's been like for us Celsius 30s is like the 90s for you guys and it has been almost every day all of July and August so far. I have never experienced heat this much ever, ever, ever being Canadian, ever. It's it's kind of crazy. Mm, we're seeing a lot of flowers. Renee loves snakes. Well, then you can protect me from them. When I run speeding, you can go get it. Yeah, Tracy doesn't like snakes either. <laughs> oh, Amy, are you hearing crackling? Maybe it's because I was moving the i don't know it's this speaker i don't know you guys is there crackling going on i know the computer is dying i think pretty much i'm going to try to catch up here and amanda i really want to thank you for coming and being on this live show it's me we almost did it on the roof we'll we'll probably do it on the roof a different day yeah, yeah we'll go on the, roof the ambulance and do it from there that'd be fun Coming to Toronto, I don't know for sure what areas I'm going. Pretty much, you need to message my auntie, Cindy Waters, in these chats. Because she's kind of making my plans, I think. Right? I really don't know Ontario and how any of that's working, but we can definitely look into that. Oh, what did Michael Ann say? Oh, Michael Ann says it's crackling, too. It's crackling, joy, blessed life says, spiders eat the bad bugs. Oh, it's definitely been in the 90s. That's why we're sweating like crazy people. Uh, maybe, ooh, um, yeah, now everybody's saying it's crackling. Okay. So the battery is dying. Um, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. I love getting to share who my sister is with you. And yeah, I'm just going to go spend as much time as I possibly can with her because it's been like two years. Yeah, it's been over two years. And she yeah. hasn't aged a bit. She must be getting that threading done. <laughs> Not yet, but when I do, you're going to be the first to know. I'm gonna get so much Botox, I get a discount on it or something. I don't want to be able to move my forehead. You can get a discount on Botox? I'm sure if you buy in bulk, they'll give you some sort of deal. I don't know. That'd be funny. I'll figure it out. That'd be funny. All right. I want to thank you guys so much. I will hopefully see you on Saturday. I'm not going to put a thumbnail out until I know for sure I have service. It may even be a different time. I might, for a good portion of the rest of this month, I might have to be doing some pop-ups. Um, because I don't want to put a, a thumbnail out saying I'm doing a stream and then not have a way to cancel it like that time in June. And I had a lot of people who were worried, and I don't want to do that to you guys again. So what, the problem um so yeah i don't wanna i don't wanna worry any of your kids so thank you all for being here hey brandon yes you're just a little behind oh lynn thank you so much nice to see you amanda she said it was a fun live and i have to admit she is fantastic she takes after me she is cool just like her oldest sister she, she she has a good heart Go on, don't stop there. She has a tiny bit of a temper. Uh, no, you're just getting ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just saying how we're like. Now. Uh, my glance says, it was nice to meet you as well, Mandy. And so does Janice from Oz. Have fun together, girls. Be good, Janice. Janice, you know better than that. <laughs> 
you guys are all amazing. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys hopefully on Saturday.